Just think, all this time we thought the president's name is Donald Trump. David Dennison, which you say is Donald Trump. D.D. David Dennison, oh. a.k.a. perhaps Donald Trump. Now it all makes sense, someone tweeted. Donald Trump did not collude with Vladimir Putin to get elected president of the United States. David Dennison did. Dennison's is the signature line left blank on the so-called hush agreement. David Dennison, is that an alias for President Donald Trump? Yes. So says the attorney for former porn star Stormy Daniels. Stormy, itself a stage name, went by her own alias. Stormy Daniels, who goes by Peggy Peterson. Making this pair David Dennison and Peggy Peterson. Almost instantly, a parody Twitter account surfaced. Real David Dennison, whose very first tweet was, uh-oh, prompting responses like, will the real David Dennison please stand up? And these three took turns. But David Dennison didn't satisfy some people. They wanted an alias with a little more meaning. Hands are huge was one suggestion. The classic Carlos Danger was already taken by Anthony Weiner, who used it while sexting. Actually, there's a legal reason for using names starting with P and D when lawyers want to conceal their clients' identities. Peggy is for plaintiff and David is for defendant. So who do you imagine made these names up? Uh, I think the attorneys made these names up. Dennison now joins the names John Barron and John Miller that journalists say Trump used to use, pretending to be his own press agent. Listen to how the speech patterns match. I, I can tell you this. I can tell you this. He's probably doing as well as anybody. As well as anybody. You understand that? You understand that? He's starting to do tremendously well. She did tremendously well. Never before has a president who so enjoys name-calling... Lion Ted. Crooked Hillary Clinton. ...been called by so many names. John Miller. John Barron. David Dennison. Ginny Moe. CNN. Donald Trump. New York. I don't know how they came up.